Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics School channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rename samples in a BCF file. We are going to use the tool called BCF tools. Now, let me say that instructions for installing BCF tools can be found in the description box. So just use those links that are there to set up your PC. So for this tutorial, we are going to use the BCF tools rear header option. Let's go to the BCF tool documentation page. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description. So we are using this command BCF tools rear header, and then we will specify some additional information, and that's it. All right. So I already have some example data set as well. So before we start, let's take a look at the example data we will use. So it's available on this GitHub repo of mine. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you are here, you'll find lots of BCF files. We are going to use this one, pop1, pop2.bcf.gz. All right. So the link to this repo is in the description. I repeat, the link to this repo is in the description box. So make sure to get here and then you can download the file. So when you are here, Click it and then you'll be sent to another page, which is here. So when you are here, what you need to do is to get the download link. Or you can also download via the browser. But because I'm going to work on a terminal, I'll just get a link and then download. All right. So you can click this one to download. You can also click this. All right. But I will just get the link. So I'll right click and then I'll go to copy link. All right. So I'll copy the link and I'll move to the terminal to download all right so let's move to the terminal now yeah so i'm here now that's my terminal so on the terminal what i'm going to do is to create a directory and i will see it into it i always like to have directories created for every activity i do it helps me to keep my files organized and it allows me to also track changes that i make all right so i'll just say make the vcf and then i will see the into it but you can choose to work on your current working directory. That's fine. Now I'm going to download the example data. So I'll use WGET and then I'll paste the link there. If you're working on macOS, then you have to use curl to download. Or you can also just download from your browser. This is a small file. So anyhow, you will still get a file. So let's execute this command to download it. So it's a small file. So it's going to get downloaded quickly for us. So let's wait. All right, that has been done. So let's proceed. So let's clear the screen. Let's do an LS. We are going to find our VCF file here. All right. So we will do a quick exploration before we start the exercise. I think it's important so that beginners will get a feel of the VCF file. But I have lots of tutorials on how to manipulate and extract information from VCF file. So just sort of question, you find a playlist to help you get started when it comes to exploring VCF files. All right. So let's do this. This is a VCF file. So because we are going to rename samples, obviously we would like to get the sample list. So I'll do this. I'm going to say BCF tools and I'll say query. I'm now going to get the sample list or sample names. Let me just put it that way. So BCF tools query and I'll say dash L. It's L like this. All right. So I repeat BCF tools query dash L. And then I'll specify the VCF file. So there's it. So I'll execute this command and I'm going to find the samples display for us. So sample list, sample names, or sample like this, whatever you want to call it. That's fine. But this is a list by the way, because we have multiple samples. All right. So here we see lots of samples. So if it's a multi VCF file, which is in this case, you can also count the number of samples. And so with the command here, you can just add this pipe and say wc-l all right and then that will give you the counts so we have 60 samples there and you can also save the samples this the list to a file a text file so you can just let's say bcf tools query dash l let's specify the bcf file again and then you can just redirect it to a file so you can say or samples.txt all right so you can execute it so if you do an ls you are going to find a test file which has the name so you can do a cut to get it all right let's go the screen you can also do a head to see some of the sample names all right so that's how we do it okay now let's proceed so 
that's a bit of exploration or let me say a bit of intro to vcf files especially for those who are beginners so we are going to proceed so let's continue okay so let's do this now we have lots of samples and but we'll focus on a few of them all right just one or two that's fine then that's it okay so let's start with just a single sample let's do that so i will do this let me share a screen let's one ls i am going to remove this test file so that we don't get confused i'm going to remove it from my system i don't need it now all right so i'm going to do this i am going to display the samples again from the vcf file all right so i'm going to use the command we use at the moment i'm just pressing the arrow key the up arrow key to get the previous commands all right so that's what i'm doing to get the previous command so i'm here so here i just want to focus on just the first sample all right so i'll just use this and i'll say head dash n1 to get the first sample all right so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to just rename this sample all right this id i'm going to rename so i'm just going to say sample one all right so that's what we do if you are going to rename it you need a text file also so the text file will have the names the old names i mean the names that you are going to change you are going to rename as well as the new names the names that are going to replace your old names all right so this is what we will do we will create a text file which has this all right so i'm just going to make a copy just a copy of this i'll just create a text file so i'll say nano names.txt and then i'm going to paste it there all right like this so i have this and then i type space and then i give the new name all right so in this case the new name is this is sample one let's keep it this way sample one you can use any name of your choice as well here you can experiment just use any name that you want to so that's also fine all right so this is it all right so i'm going to edit and save changes all right so this is just a, a, a simple text editing if i do an ls i'm going to find a file there like this all right so which is fine i can do a cut to get the file to see what i have so there's it okay so now i'm going to rename the sample in the vcf file this file here so this has the sample we are going to rename this to this this is the new name so to do that that's what we do let's do it we we'll say bcf tools like this and then i'll say reheader and then we we'll say dash s and then you specify the text file which has the name or names at the moment we have a single sample but we will also try with multiple samples so don't worry so we specify the text file so i'll say names.txt and then i will give an output file all right so the output file i'll say dash o and then i'll just say renamed Let's say single. Yeah, this represents a single sample. So we name single. Now say dot vcf dot gz. That's what I want. And then I will now specify the vcf which has the information that we are going to modify. In this case, pop one pop two dot vcf dot gz. All right. So that will come last. So I'll say pop one pop two dot vcf dot gz. So this becomes the final command. So vcf tools reheader-s name.txt dash o rename single.vcf.gz and then we specify this as well so this becomes the final command so let's execute this command perfect has been done so let's do an ls and we are going to find our new file there so we can make a query again to look at the sample names so i can say bcf tools query dash l i'll specify that vcf file and because this was the first sample, I'll just use the head. Let's say head to display some additional lines as well. So I'll just do a head. And then I'm going to find some sample displayed. And I'll see that this one has been changed. All right. So it has been changed. 
if you look at the original file the old one let's just call that also let's go ahead the old one this is it so this one has been changed and this is the new name so it's very very simple and straightforward that's it but of course if you want other functionalities that's where you have to go back to the documentation and then read more okay to see what options you can add all right but this is just a simple rename we are just renaming the sample the sample names or something like this so it's very simple and straightforward all right so let's get back to the terminal okay so what we've done so far was to rename a single sample but you can also rename multiple samples all right so this time let's try this let's clear the screen let me just do ahead again so this time let's rename let's say this this so this all right we have pr0115c pr0116c and then pr0117c so let's rename this all right so i'll just copy them okay i'll just copy them it's simple or i can just let me just do this way i think i'll open my text file now and then just do the editing there right, so i'll just do this i think i'll open a new tab and then i'll work there all right so let's ls i still have all my files there okay so i'm going to create a new text file all right so I'm going to say nano, I'll say sample name. This time, that's what I'm going to use, sample name.txt. I'll open it, and then I'll come back. I'll just take them one by one. So there's the first sample. This time, I'll just do a copy and paste. And then space, and I'll say sample two. Let's go to the next line. Let's get the other one. So one, one, six will become sample three and then one one seven becomes sample four now here there's a catch if you are renaming multiple samples then they should be in the same order that they appear in the original vcf file all right, that's the instructions that has been given. All the instructions I saw from the BCF2 documentation. So I'm just following that strictly. So I have this comes 15, comes 16, and then 17. So that is what I also have here. So I'm just following that. So make sure you also follow that. So if you're using your own sample, rename them or specify them in the order that they appear in the original VCF file. All right, so that's it. So let's edit and save changes. Perfect, that has been done. Okay, I'll get back here. Okay, let's do an LS first to see the file. There's it. So, cut sample name.tse to find it there. So, we have everything we need there. Okay, so now we can rename. So, we know that we're the same thing. So, I'll say BCF tools, reheader, and then what we add? We just add a dash S. So dash s and this time is going to be sample names the tst and i'll say dash o and this time I'll say renamed underscore multiple i can say multi that's fine dot vcf dot gz and i'll specify the original vcf file or you can even use the rename one well, that's fine i mean it depends on you okay so you can try that and then see so let's do it this way. Okay. And then let's specify the original VCF. All right, like this. So let's execute this command. Perfect, that has been done. So if I do BCF to square dash L, rename the underscore multiple dot VCF dot GZ, I'll say head. And I'll get them there so sample two three four all right we have all of them there all right now let's make it uniform this time let's add this one to it the one one four all right so i'm going to edit the text file again 
sample names all right and then i'll bring this first i just want it to be uniform and now else and save changes okay i'll clear the screen and i'm going to let's do an ls just to get some stuff now I'll record the command again like this and then i'll, I'll run it now you should know that yeah, I'm using the same coin, so that means that this file, right, what was there will be replaced by the new file that will be created. So you should be careful with your output names. Okay, here, because I just want to update it, that's why I'm using the same name, all right? So if you are using the same name, then bear in mind that the old file will be gone. It will be replaced by the changes that have been made, the new changes. So the old file, its contents will differ from what will be generated now so you should be particular when it comes to the output names okay so just take notes of that so let's execute this command or uh, to be on the safer side you can also just add additional information that's fine but i'll just keep it simple like this okay and i'll just execute the command all right so now this time if i do this i'll see that they have been renamed nicely for me okay, so there's it okay so This is how we rename samples in a VCF file using VCF tools. Okay. Now with VCF files, you can also open them using R or Python or VCF tools or other tools. So the renaming of samples, you can use other tools as well to do, but I think VCF tools is simple and straightforward. So I recommend you use it as a beginner, but you also have options to use other tools. So that's fine. All right. So that's how I bring start one. And now if you are looking to learn how to call variants and generate VCF files, then you can check this playlist here. All right, you can also check the description box for videos on how to call variants, how to manipulate VCF files. And for those who want to support this channel, there are links in the description that you can use to buy me a coffee. All right, so I'll see you next time.